In this video, I'll show you how you can change hundreds of items in your Adobe Captivate project all at once. I just got off a conference call with one of my new clients uh, who I was providing some troubleshooting and some instruction to. And the problem that she ran into was she had hundreds of slides in this course and on every single slide she had a series of navigation controls uh, duplicated on all the slides. Problem was many of her slides weren't working properly because these buttons had pause points at the very beginning of the timeline and for her to change those potentially would have taken hundreds of hours because there was so much that needed to be fixed. So I showed her a neat little trick and I've decided to share it with all of you as well. I've kind of duplicated the problem that she had here on every single one of her objects that you can see that there is a pause point at the beginning of all of these navigation controls and they're set for 0 0.01. It's not a big deal to simply unselect one button that has a pause point somewhere on the timeline. But again, if you've got hundreds of these around your project that you need to change, how do you do it? Well, that brings us to this little tiny menu that you see here, this apply to all menu. If I click on this, I can choose to either apply the changes that I've just made to the timing and the pause of this particular object to all items of this type, or all items of the same style. So a good best practice that comes of this, of course, is the idea of saving all of your unique objects as their own object style, and you can make that change. Now, before I go ahead and make this, I just wanna to illustrate to you that, again, all these buttons have that pause point. I need to get rid of that. And like I said, she had hundreds of slides. If you're in the same boat, as she was, you can again uncheck the pause point and use this particular case here. She did actually have an object style, so that worked out well. In this case, I'm just using the default object style. I think that will be fine in this case because these are the only uh, object styles that are used throughout the course as interactive objects. So I'm going to go ahead and apply to all items of the same style. You might see a bit of a delay in being able to do other things right away, but within a few seconds, all of my back and next buttons now have that pause point turned off. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.